Hey everyone, tonight we're going to be using a soap that was just released today, being the day of filming. Um, so yesterday, the day you're watching this, and that is PAA's Grove. So the scent notes on this are, let's see, oak moss, cranberry, currant, moss, and a kiss of apricot. So off the puck, I definitely get the cranberry. I get the apricot. And it smells amazing. I also get a little bit of the current, but this is a fantastic scent. So if you picked this up last year or this year, you can thank Ian Ryan. Uh, he is the one that really put the pressure on Doug at PAA to bring it back. I don't know how long Ian was asking for this particular scent, but it came back and it came back with a label redesign because this is the old label. And if you look, right, let's see, where is it? Somewhere in here, I know there's Huxley. Huxley is in this label, the old label of Grove. If you have the current label, if you look closely, there's a hidden face on there as well. And that is Ian. So that is PAA kind of paying tribute to Ian Ryan for basically convincing them to bring back this scent. So thank you, Ian, for the continual pressure on PAA to bring back this amazing scent. I was not in the hobby when it was first released, so I didn't know what I was missing. And I'm glad I picked it up when I did last year. This is in the CK6 formula, so we know it's going to perform very well. The razor I'm using, or the brush I'm using tonight is the Omega, I think this is the Mixed Midget, is what they call it. This is a uh, mix of a Badger and Boar uh, hybrid. The razor I'm going to go with this evening, since so just doing a very quick neck cleanup, because it is No Shave November, is going to be the Razorock Game Changer. This is the point... What is it, the, the larger one, the 8.4? I think it's the biggest, or 6, 8, I can't remember. I think it's a 6.8, whatever the large gap is, I'll annotate that here or below, whatever. Um, and I mentioned I'm doing No Shave November for mental health and suicide prevention. So if you are so inclined, there will be a link below to the November, Movember space for donations. This is a very efficient razor. Uh, it's also smooth. And my lighting here is awful. And I can't tell what gap this is. 8.4, I think it is. This is also a razor I've used on my head quite a few times. Um, but I'll be honest, it's not my favorite head shaving razor. Uh, it's just a little too mild, if that makes sense. It's a great razor. I love it on the face. But for a head shave, it's just, eh, it's okay. This brush really surprised me. Uh, I have a couple hybrid knots that are badger and synthetic mix, but I've never had a badger boar. This was a really good price at Maggard's. It's also available at the Razor Company on Amazon, a few other places. There'll be links below for all the product here. Uh, but the performance really surprised me. It's a very, very small hand as you've seen, but the loft and the knot is actually pretty standard size. If I can remember, I'll put the measurements below. It's a very normal size knot. So it's deceptively small, deceptively large, I guess would be a better way to say that.
And once I have the, the soap lathered up, I get a lot more of that apricot. And cranberry mix. The scent strength becomes a little bit stronger once lathered, at least for me, which is perfect because really this is one of my favorite fall scents. People say fall, I've used this year round. If you have watched the channel for a little bit, you know that I don't particularly care for the season, whatever the season of the soap is supposed to be, I will use it whenever I want. Insert gif of Carmen from South Park here. So you can see this brush is a nice painter. I've gotten so used to building a lather for chevettes and straights that it's a little bit thinner, but you all know CK6, you can get that little fluffy lather if you want. With the high density, high volume, you can do that. You can also do high density, low volume. But since I mostly bowl lather these days, most of my lathers are the high density, low volume. All right, now we're gonna do quick against the green, maybe a little bit of cleanup. Uh, this is a Persona Lab Red, Lab Blue, Israeli packaging, I don't know what it is. It's a good blade, I know that much. I like it, but I think it's near the end of its life. I went against, I went with the green there, and apparently I cut myself somewhere. Go figure, I can shave my head with a Chevette, and my neck with a Chevette and everything else. I switch to a DE, and I start to bleed. <laughs> Go figure. Now let's go against the green as I should have last pass. I was too busy. Thinking about something else, apparently. There we go. Okay, a little bit of... The brush is still shedding a little bit, for some reason. I have used a brush a decent amount of times, but I think the bore portion is still breaking in. but it is breaking in quite nicely. Decent feedback on the game changer here. Somewhere in there. Might have had an air in the ground or something I may have gotten, I don't know. I'm gonna be done on that so I don't wanna irritate the skin anymore. We're gonna call that good. So, Game Changer is a nice razor. It is smooth, it's efficient. Not a lot of blade feel on this, which is okay. I like a little bit of blade feel, especially after using mostly chevettes and straight razors for the longest time. That's just my preferred, I like aggressive. Aggress aggressive, efficient, blade feel, whatever you wanna call it. I'm still trying to decide what I'm going to do with my cheeks, so I'm not cleaning those up. But we are going to finish off. We just a quick... Bring the sink here. Just a quick cold water. And we, you know I forgot the, the witch hazel yet again. So we'll do grab the witch hazel. This is in the lavender. Just a few drops of that. Don't need a ton. That feels really smooth. Always forget how efficient and that DEs can be because I don't use them that often anymore. All right, we're gonna finish off with 
Grove from the original release, or the last year's before last year's re-release, with the old school label. And we'll finish it off with some star jelly mentholated. That has a good restrictor in it. Oh, this smells so good. Mm. Smells so good. I just love the little hint of the fruit notes in here. Oh, man. If you like fruit scents, even just notes that have a little bit of fruit in it, definitely recommend Grove. It is fantastic. It's not going to be in your face, apricot, everything else. It's just a little nice hint that, oh, it is very well blended as I've come to expect from PAA products. Oh, I love the star jelly and the menthol. Did not shave my head, but why not? <clears throat> That's a great shave. Love Grove. I'm so glad that Douglas brought it back. I'm very, very glad that Ian was persistent and convinced Douglas and Fran at PAA to bring it back. And as I mentioned on here, if you look closely somewhere, I'm not gonna give it away, there is the face of Ian Ryan hidden in the label. If you couldn't find it there, do yourself a favor, buy your own set or soap, whatever, and look for it yourself and enjoy this fantastic scent. Anyway, guys, that'll do it for me for this evening. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you all probably head shave next time. We shall see.